Got the battery right here. Super duper battery. Let me see. That's good. Yeah. No, you, yeah, you can. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That's it, huh? Yeah. Is this? Oh, he's missing a screw already. Yeah, they fell out, man. All right, no big deal. Just making sure I'm not the one that missed. No, them. no, yeah. no, they fell yeah. out. I was like, dude, where are your batteries? He's like, oh wait, yeah, it's more than one. He's yeah, there's a handful there. of them came out. Interesting. They, wow, one, two, three screws missing. All right. And in fact, I have the screw kit. I should put those oh, back should. anyway. Oh jeez. Man, that one's missing. How did they all just? I have no idea how they all backed out. I was well, like, yeah. Well, it's not a huge deal since I've got all the replacement screws. I know, but it, it's nutty though. Like, as to how that would happen, and, and at school where it was, he's like, "Dad, one right. came out. I found it. I'm like, oh, let's put that back in. I'm like, hey, you got others missing here. Right. He's like, uh, I don't know. Where that's okay. All right. Oh well, not a big okay. huge deal. No. Yeah. So we already went through here. Any big plans for the weekend? No, nope, not really. You looking at it right here? We're looking at it? What? Oh, <laughs> you looking at it? Just working? Oh, no, I was, um, for the weekend, you mean? Yeah. No, I don't plan. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to really work. I don't have anything scheduled for tomorrow. My day off is normally Sunday. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. But, no, I don't really. Maybe next weekend. I'm looking to spend some winters out there in the summer. And I've got some land out in Laughlin. Oh, okay. But I gotta prep it. So that means <laughs> I gotta, it's all ungroomed dirt. Eventually I'll put a house on it. Oh, that's cool. But at least I need to put like dirt down so I can park it, park without sinking in the dirt. So I gotta get <laughs> gravel, is really what I meant. Yeah, lay gravel down. Yeah. So it's cheaper and easier than uh, cement and more versatile. For now, yeah, for now. Yeah, and then when I change my mind, I can move it around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I got two and a half acres to mess with. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Nothing but dirt, still. So. Yeah. Um, you have friends in Laughlin? What would you no, do in Laughlin? it was just cheap land, and uh, I want to try something else because I was born and raised here. Okay. So I want to maybe spend the winters out there and then come which, back here. Right, which is close enough. If you don't yeah. like it, you can yeah. peel out. Yeah. I, I'll always call L.A. home. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't want to give up everything and then uh, see what I can do out there. Mm. My yeah. brother-in-law is the same way. He's got a place in Bullhead City. Oh, so he's 20 minutes away. I'm in um, Golden Valley. Okay. Yeah, that's just east. He got, he bought a, uh, from his buddy who was leaving, bought a, a mo uh, mobile home. Yeah. And like, all right. And he just buffed the thing out. And he's like, yeah, I can come back to L.A. He's, right. And he's single. And he's like, I don't give a crap. He goes, like, right. I'm like, all right, Cliff, whatever. So, sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about kids to... Race, right, just yeah. Kind of roam the land. You're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> roam the land, yeah. Yeah. So, but if he's, so, uh, I'm in a part of, uh, well, I guess Bullhead City's basically next to Laughlin, but Golden Valley is this part of the desert that never grew up because it doesn't have the water rights. So the land out there is cheap. So you can do whatever you want out there. You just don't get water and you don't get power. If you want it, you got to do it yourself with solar, right. and they literally have companies that'll bring it to you for the water. And plumb it to oh, bring, literally, oh, you got to put it in tanks, stored in tanks. Yeah, yeah. So as long as you're doing that, and I have a motorhome, so I'm just gonna park it and live in the motorhome, yeah. which has all everything I need. It's got two air conditioners. You're good to go. Yeah, everything in the motorhome is almost functional. What about? Uh, well, you could probably have satellite, right? So well, I like I got set. I got a 40 gig hotspot on my phone. So I can get I can use the laptop through the phone okay. and still work from there. And yeah, work. and then I actually have an HDMI adapter so I can plug my phone into my TV. So I got a 32 inch flat screen in the motorhome. So the generator will power the TV, and if I really wanted to, I can use battery power to power the TV. But I, that would burn up the batteries right. using a full TV. But ultimately, I have a generator. That's what a Class A motorhome grants you. Right. It gives you all the resources of a house. Sure. Except you know, it's all either solar. Or gas powered. Yeah. So essentially, I'll have that to do whatever I want. And the 40 gigs isn't really like I can't broadcast too much on the air, but it'll give me full access to the laptop, so I can do whatever it is I oh, want online. That's cool. Yeah. 
this does not want to click um, unclick off. And, oh man, you got loose pieces of plastic. He dropped it. Really? And I'm like, okay. Is oh. that preventing it from opening? Well, it looks like what I've got in my hand is actually one of the speakers. Oh, boy. Yeah. Let's see here. I, I was thinking that was just a part of the external case, but one of the speakers was dependent on part of the case. So now let me see. I'll just have to be careful. If you want to handle something, let me know. That's all right. I okay. think I got it, but right. thank you. I think I got my putt spudger here. There we go. There you go. Yeah, ironically, it's almost like a bigger engine. The bigger computers are slightly easier oh, okay. to deal with. Here's just data here. He loved the V8 term. I said, dude, your V8 needs to be started running on three cylinders. Yeah. And it's, oh, you go, oh, V8. Oh, yes, yes. I said, dude, you left. You, you were supposed to leave your V8 this morning at the house. Right. Dad, I'm sorry. I said, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. But uh, we use the analogy V8, and he's like, oh. Yeah. That was great. It's great analogies to use with people. I thought that was That's great. right. Yeah. I don't know if, I mean, a lot of people are not car people, but there we go. Okay, so he's got, oh, he's got two drives. His, his main storage is hopefully, no, his operating system is this right here. This is his SSD. That's what makes it a fast machine. Mm -hmm. But he's also got a traditional uh, mechanical drive over here. So if he's got his stuff over here, mm -hmm. eventually this will fail probably first. But essentially these can be replaced and upgraded so you don't even need this. Huh. This is probably a 256. Yeah, that's literally what this is. It's a small boot drive. So it has Windows plus some of his data. Okay. Ultimately, this is a one terabyte drive. You can eliminate this. Oh, that's another thing. Since what we're dealing with is replacing the battery, this is a motor that spins. Mm -hmm. So that's actually a battery hog. Uh, yeah, battery hog. So oh. So you, you could essentially get an upgraded SSD, which is no moving parts, remove the and mechanical drive. And extend your life and everything and else. And that will extend some of the battery life, which is ultimately what we're avoiding today. So that's, so I didn't even think of that. Of course, I wasn't under the hood at the time. So there we go. If you want, I don't know, I, because I didn't, wasn't paying attention, that wasn't part of our issue. Yeah. All we were trying to do is diagnose a battery that was prematurely, fail. well, not necessarily prematurely failing, but showing Signs some of its failure. So we got a screw here. That looks like a mount. Oh, part of the speaker mount. So the speaker probably goes about right there i'll just have to be careful because oh. the screw that held it in huh. the plastic grommet came off the chassis so it broke yeah he dropped it i said man you're lucky i said you were oh, dad i dropped him so you're lucky the thing didn't break it's just that right that's because you your mom would have your butt in a vice right okay so that screwdriver, which is ironically the screwdriver that came with the battery, <laughs> does not fit very easily. We're just going to use one of my screwdrivers. Heck, flathead. Let's try to see if this Phillips works a little bit better. Yeah, man. No, sometimes these screwdrivers. Really be careful to strip it, huh? Yeah, well, the screwdrivers aren't very deep, so you can't get enough meat on them sometimes. Mm. So there's, well, this might be the same model of screwdriver I just tried. Let's see if the head. Yeah, that's. See, I think these screwdrivers are too too steep. Too yeah, so they. Don't, oh, I see what you're saying. The, yeah, the you need a fatter. I need a, a um, more into the, yeah, yeah, I need yeah, more yeah. surface on the side of the as I torque it sideways. It needs to grab. Mm. I think I've had some luck with this one. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Uh, Brittany had brought us uh, Chinese food. She said, there's extra. Are you coming home for it or am I putting it in the fridge? Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll come home and have some. So, do you want me to leave it out or? No, put it in the fridge. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Bye. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. How nice, Mommy. man. Yeah. Yes, my that is nice. My sister's uh, taking care of it. My sister likes to cook, so she kicks in bulk because it's easier. Right, of course. So she brings food over, <laughs> either for my mom or for me. That's awesome. So, yeah, sometimes she'll literally bring it to me in the car. Yeah. 
it's nice to have family, man. Right. They make you crazy sometimes, but it's nice to have family. Right. They yeah, we're the only local ones. Well, I got an aunt on the other side of the family who's also local. Oh, very cool. But, yeah. I, love that. I wish my mom was still here to call me and say that stuff. Yeah, that's why uh, Appreciate I'm it. very thankful I don't have much experience with loss. My, yeah. my dog passed two months ago. That was uh, my first experience with loss. That's not fun. No. No, we've lost two no. dogs. That's not... Uh, I didn't sleep for a month. It, not make, it makes you want to never have a dog again or an animal again, but at the same time, they're right. the best things that make you the happiest things in your life for dog or animals. Right, you know? and I'm very solid in my belief system. I believe we'll see each other again. I do too. 40, 50 years, yeah. hopefully. Not but, too soon, hopefully. Yeah. but 40 or 50 <laughs> years. <laughs> he can greet me. That's right. Yes. <laughs> what yes. kind of dog was he? He was, he was kind of an exotic Labrador. Well, he's mostly Great Dane and Weimaraner. Oh, and yeah. then Lab, so and then mix, he had, and, and then Dashhound, and oh then uh, Shetland Sheepdog. I did his DNA like six months earlier, uh -huh. so that's why he was just an odd collection of what essentially was a 120 pound dog. Lost. Yeah, he was only nine years old, but that was an accident. He darted out into traffic after a cat, so that was kind of a tragic end. But he lived there when he, it happened. Yeah, he li yeah. That's why I didn't sleep for about a month. Yeah, you can't unsee that stuff. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that's, yeah. that's, oh, that's horrendous. Yeah, but I think it's been two months, and I think I'm doing well considering, because I hear people say that they lose function for years on end. It's like, oh my goodness. My mom lost function when she lost our German Shepherd. Yeah. I don't ever want a dog again. We've always had German Shepherds, right? Right. And she'd said to me, I don't, I don't want a dog again. I don't know. No, don't get me in. It's okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. No problem. Right. No problem. A year later, I went and got her one. Puppy, right. Brought it home, and she couldn't say no. And it right. was like another 10, 12 years of love and happiness. Yeah. Bliss, you know? Yeah. Well, T Tater was uh, a good teacher of mine. I think I'm a little bit more gentle. Like you, we were talking about that person who has probably personal problems. Mm -hmm. I'm a little more oh, gentle. Yeah. I'm a little more gentle. <laughs> I mean, I think these thoughts that make me want to just poke people in the face sometimes, <laughs> but at least I understand that people are jerks because they've got their own issues. Yeah, but it doesn't mean they need to be jerks to other people. I was yeah, thinking about it one after you yes. said that the other day. Yeah. I was like, they can be a-holes, but they don't need to be a-holes. Right. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. People right. Don't. But I mean, that's why we're all the way we are. Yeah. We have our quirks because yeah. I have a bad day. I'm a little bit, yeah, more difficult to deal with. So... Let's see here. But there's nothing better than this. Have come home and have a have a crappy day and have this animal just so excited to see. Oh yeah, me. that's the unconditional love yep. they're here for. Yeah. Yes. My guy used to work with. <laughs> he retired, <laughs> and he said, "If it wasn't for my dogs, he's got two Rottweilers." He yeah. Goes, I put my Rottweilers in the trunk yeah. with my wife, and oh, I slammed the door. Yeah. You've heard that, right? I've heard that joke a yeah. few times, yeah. <laughs> I can throw my dog in the trunk, and he'll still be happy to, to see, see me. see me when I open the trunk. Yes. <laughs> oh, is this upside down? Is this going like this? Which way does the battery go? Let me see that on the back. So this goes. So this was like this, and this was like this. Yeah, all right, that's correct. All right. Yeah. So, Tater was my boy for eight years. Oh, man. Yeah. There we go. Here it is. Okay, so we're just going to have to use it to see if it's fixed as far as the old battery was sure. sort of functional. But that's a really good idea with the drive there. Right, yeah, because getting rid of that mechanical okay, drive will huge, potentially yeah, yeah. improvement. I don't know what, what he has on there. The school stuff and it wasn't. Right. What did I just do with those screws? Did I? I got excited. Right here? Are those them? Yeah, I think those are them. Sometimes I thought I might have kept them separate from the external uh -huh. screws. Let's see here. I'm trying to think what else he's got. He games on that thing too, but he's got... We, I'm doing both for school and for uh, his gaming. Right. Well, this is technically a gamer's machine. Well, uh, that's what it initially started for, and he tried to get another for school, and my wife said, you are not getting another computer. Okay, so that's the other thing. So eventually, if he runs out, if he complains out of space, this is the part that you would replace and upgrade. 
Okay. This you can walk away from. Okay. So I don't know what he has, has on there. Oh. 250 gigs for a modern computer is not much storage. Isn't that crazy? You say modern computer, and that's only four years old. Yeah. Right? Well, it, basically, this supports up to like a two terabyte mm -hmm. version of what this is. Mm -hmm. um, but they keep it, they keep the price point down by keeping these drives I smaller. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. So technically, yeah, you can put a $200 two terabyte drive in there, which is eight times that storage, eliminating the need for the mechanical drive. Okay. What's it run to do that? So down the road. So that's a two hundred dollar part. It's, it's, a, it's basically a hundred bucks per terabyte. It's, it's still cheaper than buying a new computer. Yes, and potentially uh, gives you some more reliability because yeah. these mechanical drives are likely to fail first. Right. Yes, they are mechanical. Yes. Retail SSDs are more reliable, but OEM SSDs are actually not that much more reliable than a mechanical drive. Hmm. So. The OEM ones are not? Yeah. You would think it would be the other way around. No, a lot of these HPs, HPs like my most annoying brand I like to make fun of. But, yeah, if it came with, if it's an SSD that came with HP, Dell, Lenovo, all those brands, the OEM level of whatever drive they put in there is just not as reliable. Interesting. I seem to replace them as often as a mechanical drive. That's interesting. So while we're in here, I just realized you got some boogers on those fans. Let's blow these out. Okay. Yeah, I'm blow them right out. So it'll potentially run a little cooler. Oh, it's just compressed air. Yeah, that's all that is. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright. They expect me to remove this piece of... I think that part of the shipping, I don't know. Let's see here. Looks like it's probably just shipping tape, huh? Yeah. Okay. All righty. I'll throw all that out. That's all basically your battery. <laughs> all that packaging for one battery. For one battery, man. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we need to deal with. Um, So some of those brackets, okay, so there's no, see, that's where our screw used to go. Yeah. So we can't put that corner screw back in. And what other ones? There was a screw missing right there, but that was just a missing screw. All right. Well, I have, this is for a test okay. Let me see, I got the laptop screw kit. Let me see if I can find the matching screws. All right, let's see here. Matching screws. Here we are. This is for some of the laptop kits, desktop kits. Let's see here. Some the desktop screws. Some more desktop screws. I think all my laptop screws are over there. Let's see here. Yeah, in the, those, but I'll, I'll go looking for them. I'll bring a screw over there. I see you got a chair picker. What do you? What do oh, you uh, that's for. I got an extra motorhome generator in the corner. Oh, yeah, that thing weighs about three hundred pounds. <laughs> Have you got a top for? It looks like it's for a Mercedes. Yeah, that's an old four fifty oh. SL. I SL. trying to. I'm gonna end up getting rid of it. I don't have a need for it. Oh, that's cool. I bought it for cheap. I put a bunch of effort into it, so it goes and goes. I've only put like five thousand miles on it. I'm friends with the original owner. Oh. Sold that to him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Those are cool cars. Yeah. Well, back then those Mercedes were overbuilt. Ooh. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's those are solid. They were tanks. Yeah. Well, that's why I enjoy it. It's yeah. not that I need the Mercedes because it's a, Mer a fancy car. No, it's just a tank. Yeah, and it's built to such a standard that the modern ones are not. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's the G wagon. Apparently the G wagon is still built that way. But that thing's like an arm and a leg. Which yeah, two hundred grand. Yeah. yeah. It's a crazy, ridiculous yeah. thing. Now they're a status symbol, but they're the one. It's the old, so the G wagon apparently is the longest running platform in the company's history. The R one hundred seven is a second. Really? Yeah. Which is what that is. So. Yeah. That's interesting. 
didn't know it until I got that thing. Yeah. I just find it amazing as people, there's like, I mean, you see G-Wagons, they're all over the place. They're like, they're... Oh, yeah, now they're just the status symbol. I mean, you got 200 just, grand to throw it in an SUV, that's where well, you put it. Well, that's what's crazy to me is that people have that kind of chump change. Yeah, and now they got a vehicle designed to climb a mountain, and then they never bothered to take it off-road. People are nuts around here. Yeah. Did you grow up here, too? Yeah. Where'd you, where'd you go to school? Redondo. Okay. I grew up about a mile that way. Okay. Yeah. It's just crazy how that's changed from now everybody living here in Redondo, Hermosa, Manhattan. It's just, it's all status. It's all. Yeah. It's, it, it's, I'm being it's chased out. I crazy. can't. I, yeah. That's why I bought land in the bum yeah. middle of the desert. Can't afford a million dollar piece of dirt here. Yeah. So. It just blows my mind. Yeah. It's, it, it's all, I'm well, now old enough to recognize the change. It's not what it was 30 years more no. ago. 40 years. I mean, I lived in Belmont Shore when I was little, and back then, if you lived at the beach, you were a weirdo. Now yeah, you're rich. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, now you're rich. Yeah, back then, it's like, well, of course it's cheap. You're weird if you live out the water. Belmont Shore. How old yeah. are you? 42. 42. So what year did you live in Belmont Shore? 80 to 87. Okay, so. Of course, it was, my yeah. single years. Yeah. My single digits is what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now it's my wife. I met my wife. She was lived in Belmont Shores with her uh, her sister when I met her. Yeah. Claremont That's Avenue was the street I was on. Yeah. She was off of Ocean and um, on Ocean between Park and Roycroft. All right. She was right on the water, right near the yeah. Olympic pool. Yeah. Oh well, that's where Rosie's Beach is. I used to take the dog down there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great area. Yeah. Now it's well. They just got rid of the, the pool. They got rid of like four year, three or four years ago. Did they? Yeah. Been years. I used to enjoy it. I'd never been down there before. Well, I, the pool was kind of arc interesting architecturally, but it wasn't old enough for them to maintain because apparently it was dropping chunks of cement into the pool, so it was dangerous and not old enough to be architecturally valuable to call. Oh, uh, significant for for right. rest rest restoration purposes right. or maintenance. Yeah. Right. So they essentially tore it apart. Yeah. We had great times down there when I was, yeah, I was, you said 86. Yeah, I was down there in 1999. Do you remember Horny Corner? No. The yeah, Horny Corner is the neighborhood where we were. Yeah, I guess right, uh, Naples. You're okay. You're staring over at Naples. And then Belmont Shore is the other side of that water. I think, well, I think of Horny Corner, I'm thinking of like Mother's Beach. Yeah, I, 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 forgot where, I forgot where Mother's Beach is. I well, it's right where the canal is. I, yeah. Before you go over. I think so, yeah. Okay. No, Mother's Beach is up just a little further then, yeah. I remember coming back from, because we used to walk down there and have dinner. It was a cool area, right? Yeah. And I remember passing one night on Ocean, a bar at that time, a bar called Ripples. Oh, the gay bar. Yeah, I yeah. had no idea, right? Right. Oh, I didn't know my mom says that my grandfather went in there visiting one day. He didn't have a clue. I had no freaking clue, right? <laughs> Couldn't figure out why everyone was trying to touch him. <laughs> I should, and at the time, I would go, we, we had dinner, we walked along Mother's Beach, we walked around, come home, it's late, and, you know, it's, 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 hop, it's hopping, you know, and they get the right. neon light, I'm like, oh, this looks pretty fun, let's go in there. She's like, nah, you don't want to go in there. Right. What do you mean? It's like, it's, it sounds looks like it's pretty fun. Right. Should you notice anything like kind of different in there? I'm like, <laughs> no, it looks like we're having a great time. Right. She's, you notice the blue jeans and the white t shirts? Yeah. And I was like, Oops. oh. Yeah. She's, yeah. yeah. You don't want to go in there. I said, oh. Right. It looks like they're having a hell of a time, though. Right, with each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now they. <Yeah. laughs> Let's see here. Do I have. Any screws that are more laptop oriented? Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> Next one doesn't look too big. Let's see if those work. Okay. That's unusual, so that means this one screws. Do I have to buy another kit? I think I do. See if we can use one right there. That'll work. Yeah, that should work. All right, let's just do this. I have to buy another laptop kit, but I have a few extra screws. Okay. So, how long have you been doing this, Chris? On my own, about 10 years. Really? 
Where did you work before? Well, if you say on your I own, used, so you're I used to do Dell warranty repair for Dell. Oh, that was for three years, and that was, um, yeah, that was before that. I was a Dell guy, a, a, a IT guy, just in the closet. Oh. So I was a guy you never saw until something happened. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I can see late all the way through this laptop hole. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to hold the screw. Let's see here. Just spinning. Uh, I think it's just spinning, which is the, which would explain why it wasn't holding on. So just be gentle with it. Okay. Yeah, there's plastics floating around. Oh, yeah, the screw didn't want to hold. There we are. Well. All right, but we got to deal with it. Well, let's turn it on and see if the thing shipped with a dead battery. Oh. We got to check it. Do they ship with a dead battery? Sometimes it's dead, sometimes it's half full. Okay, so it turned on. Yeah. So let's see what's going on. Oh, what's oh yeah, yeah, so it shipped about twenty percent full. Okay. What's this pin? One 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 nine. One 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 nine. Okay, so let's at least make sure it charges. Oh sorry, we don't plug yeah, that in. Plug that in. in. Where's your, uh, yeah. your power strip? Over on the side here. I'll take oh, that. Okay. I don't have anything over here. Let me just do this. All right. <laughs> All righty. Okay, let's make sure this. Okay, it says it's charging 34%. Okay. You're just going to have to use it. And we'll see. And see if it gives you a more realistic four or five hours. Sure. Okay. And if not, then the next step possibly in lieu of buying a new computer, which we don't want to do, is taking that that drive out. Right. Mechanical drive and yeah, let's just see about where he's got data. Mm. Okay. Let's see, let's see if he even care. He might not have even been paying attention to that other drive. Let's just go... This PC, yeah, okay, so he's not even using that mechanical drive. There's nothing on it. Because there's just, he doesn't have enough storage. He's not, he's there's, not, enough, he's there's not information on it to. Actually, it's a two terabyte drive. So it's a fair amount. Yeah, it's a lot of space. And so then his main drive, this Lenovo drive. Oh, wait, what is this? What's, does he have, does he have two? I only saw one SSD in there. What is well, that, I'm glad. That's interesting that we're checking this out. So his main drive is only 250 gigs. He's got a mechanical drive that's... Oh, he's got two... Oh, you know what I think this is? I think both the C and the D are one partition. I mean, one drive, but it's two partitions. Let's confirm. What's that mean, exactly? So it's one drive Yeah. divided into two. His data, I think, is just one mechanical... That one mechanical drive is the two terabytes. So, this Lenovo here and this C drive, let's confirm here. Okay. Disk management. Let's see here. Let's see, I'm sure people oh, are wondering go. what's going on. He doesn't have any private data here, so we can show that off. Okay, cool. So, this is what I mean. So, you see how it says data E as basically 2,000 gigabytes? Mm-hmm. And then down here, the disk one, uh -huh. 238 gigs, which ultimately is the 250 gigs. Yeah, so I was right. C drive and the D drive are, uh, I don't know why it's partitioned that way, but it's partitioned as two drives. Okay. So whomever set this up, just the factory set it up that way. Okay. And then if he wants to install stuff over here, he can. But, uh, yeah. So if he needs room, technically it's there. Yeah, okay, which I don't think he does for right. what we have. Right, but it seems like if he's only using it for school, he's not a typical gamer because those games are huge. He just plays Valorant. Yeah, that's about it. Right. I don't know how much space that stuff takes. But no, well, some of those games can take 40, 50 gigs just to boot. Just to, to okay. Yeah, just to which load. Which is why that's that way. Okay. Right. So essentially, 
He's booting up the 250 gig drive without not that much stuff on it, and an empty two terabyte drive, a mechanical drive that's just kind of. So it's overkill, really, is what he's got here. Well, he's got a big mechanical to. drive. Okay. Yeah, right. it's not being used. Yes, yeah. that's okay. correct. It's yes. So there we are. All right. So, I guess we're good. We can just let's make sure the percentage increases. Sometimes I get a dead battery, but not usually. So right now it says, oh, it's saying one hour and 22 minutes until it's full. Uh, let's see here. So it says 37. We'll just wait until it says 38 to make sure it's, okay. it's charging doing its job. Yeah. And then yeah, those bucks is all. That's all trash. Let's see here. All righty. One hour. 37. Let's see. It's say 38. Make sure it's charging. All right. Let's make sure. Thirty-eight. There we go. Right. So it's charging. It's Good. Working. So okay. it's charging. Perfect. All right. So just once a month, let them drain, drain it. it all the way. Yeah. Because if a battery never goes through a one cycle, about every month or so, then you'll prematurely kill it. But otherwise, it seems like after four years, his other battery has failed at a normal rate. Okay. So his normal usage is normal usage. So there we are. All righty. We're good to go. Let's see something here. Did we check for updates? Hmm. I don't remember. It's no, online. I don't think so. I got it online, so I probably did. That's just sports with habit. Oh yeah, so he's got some updates. I won't keep you trapped here, but he's got some updates could, that could potentially improve performance. Okay. So he's got driver updates. Yeah, these are all performance-oriented updates. Where it says driver updates. There we go. Okay. There. Yeah. So when you do those driver updates. Um, yeah, potentially better performance. Okay. So, and then the feature update, he's probably not the sort of technical user I would expect mm -hmm. him to be. So that's why they accrue. You want to okay. do them to stay reliable. Sometimes it's a security enhancement, but it's usually for performance. Okay. And then what are these optionals? Oh yeah, so just the version update. There's a new version of Windows every six months. And then the driver updates. We did them now. You could be stuck here another half hour. Yeah, that's so okay. I can so do that at home. Yeah. So there you go. All, All set. Right. All right. So I think we're good. I all got right. all. The, so you are missing screws, but physically you got basic things like this that are just. I don't know if that's worth. Mm -hmm. Dip six it. Yeah. Trash it. So anyway, there we go. Okay, Chris. Yeah, thank you. Machine. For your help. All righty. Let me get off the air. Oh, there we go.